Yo, hello PML fans. My name's Stuart. I'm one of the admins here at PML, and I'm here to interview one of the team coaches for the new YouTube Draft League, Joe Zamora. Hey everybody, how's it going? <laughs> so we did our pre-draft. We talked about what you wanted to do and what you had planned. And now for the post-draft interview, we're going to talk about what actually happened and if you were happy with what you got. Oh, how do yeah. you feel? Um, how, you, how are you feeling before week one? Before week one, I'm feeling confident. Uh, I did have to make a lot of changes from my uh, draft team because I drafted a bunch of mons that I liked, and then I realized that those aren't the mons that I need. So I had to make a few tweaks, uh, pretty much switched out for the same typings, just, you know, either stronger or faster Pokemon of that nature. Wise decision. So did you get what you wanted for your, your first pick? You're at the bottom of the snake there, so you had... um. The 16th pick, was it? 16 teams? Yeah, there was 16 teams on yep. pick 16. Uh, I did not get what I wanted for my first pick. It was on my list, but obviously uh, it, there's a lot of picks before me, so I had to decide uh, a few mons I wanted, not just the main one I wanted. I really wanted to get Mimikyu, because I haven't been able to use that in draft format yet. But uh, I figured Garchomp was the second best option on the list. Yeah, you can't go wrong, one of the best dragons. Oh, yeah. And then with the introduction yeah. of Scale Shot, it's got to speed boost. 100%. So, did you, being on the wheel, you of course get to choose your second tier pick first. Mm -hmm. Did you have your second tier pick in mind when you picked Garchomp? Or were they two, were you just thinking separately? Or what was your plan for going into tier two? Um, I was looking into tier two, and I was like, obviously, I can get my favorite Lycan Rock Dust if I want it. And then I saw even going into tier three, uh, I was like, and I can get Charizard if I want it. And it's like, I really want to get them. But I felt like just cause they're my favorite doesn't mean they're the best competitively, which hurts a little bit. So I was like, all right, what's the best competitively viable mod in tier two? And I wasn't really focused on a type to pair with Garchomp. I was just looking at the best available pick and I thought that was Incineroar. I went ahead and picked yep. it. Definitely has excellent utility in almost every format so you can't go wrong. I would put it in the top three tier two picks easy so definitely the advantage of being the first pick there. So you started off with the Garchomp and Incineroar. Did you feel like the rest of the draft went well for you? Do you how, how was your feeling? Don't worry about the trades after the draft. Mm -hmm. How were you feeling as the draft was happening and then when it immediately finished, were you happy? As, as the draft was going, I felt like I was getting all the mons I really wanted. Uh, tier, tier 2, I went Swampert because I wanted that uh, electric immunity along with the bulky water. Uh, Galvantula being a Tier 3 pick, one of the best sticky web users in the game. And uh, obviously had to choose that over my Charizard, but I felt like uh, Incineroar, I already have a fire type, there's no need. So, and Sticky Web is really going to help the team overall. At the end of the draft, I yeah. I was happy with my team, and I was good with it, but it was too Sticky Web reliant. That's why I had to make the changes I made. Yeah, I noticed you traded uh, Berserker for Durant, and I think that's probably the best trade of the ones that you did, to be honest. Yeah, I'm, I've never used Durant before. Uh, don't really care for the mon, but it is a great Dynamaxer and yep. great coverage as well. So I know it'll, it'll be useful for the team, especially that speed. So, game. yeah, that's very true. So, were any of your picks sniped? Did you? Was there anything that you were, uh, you know, apart from Mimikyu, which you're at the bottom of the draft, so you can't get everything? But there was anything that was one or two picks before you were going to pick it, and it was taken. Honestly, no. Everything I wanted, I picked, but then. Like I said, I, I shouldn't have picked it. <laughs> I should have probably picked something else. <laughs> I definitely know I sniped somebody on Slurpuff because they were not too happy about that. <laughs> yeah, once again, another versatile mon can do lots of different things. So, what was your favorite of the of your team that you drafted initially? My favorite overall pick is Galvantula. I love Galvantula. I don't think I've ever used it in a draft league setting, but it's uh, it's always been one of my favorite singles mines, just due to the sticky webs. And um, 
not even just that, because uh, you can send them out to go for sticky webs, and someone tries to send in something to kill it, and it can kill it right back. <laughs> yeah, those uh, those are compound ice thunders will hurt. That's for sure. Compound ice thunders, energy balls for coverage on those ground Pokemon that like set up their own rocks. Yeah, things like that. Oh, awesome, man! It works pretty much with any Pokemon. Like Galvantula is a core in itself. You can pair it with anything even relatively slow and it will improve that pokemon which is the whole idea oh yeah that, that was the main idea of my team like i know so, i have a uh, guard at 102 speed but everyone yeah. else is pretty middle of the road 85 90 besides Durant, i mean yeah i mean it, it lets you allow it allows you to run an offensive incineroar if you decide to as well because oh, yeah. it's that speed it cuts that speed tier it pushes it up so it can uh function in many ways or even fast parting shots you know fast parting shots are always going to be annoying for opponents yeah uh it's fast incineroar is definitely going to be a key to this team winning some games too from what i can see uh other teams being like so uh you, you made some trades post draft mm -hmm. and you know it was to basically type for type and to improve the team of those ones you traded in what was your favorite of the new ones that you added <clears throat> my favorite of the new ones, uh, I would have to say, I'd have to say Drifloom. It's going to be interesting to see how I plan on running that most weeks, if I bring it. Um, it was a Ghost Mon that I felt like I needed, but uh, we'll see how that goes. I, I certainly do like uh, Drifloom, though. I think the best part about it is that it gives you that rapid spin immunity to protect those sticky webs if you need to. So teams will be forced to run defog or, you know, take out Drifloom so you, if they want to prevent the sticky webs. Oh yeah. Definitely and a bonus. The fact that you can make Drifloom so bulky and it gets recovery, it, it certainly helps there too. That's for sure. So, uh, going into the draft, week one coming up, what's your plan? Do you have like a, a goal in mind you want to, you know, send out just a few random mons see how your new toys work or you know um think you're got I'm, a plan in mind i'm certain you don't, have to, you don't have to give away your plan but you know oh yeah i'm <laughs> certainly uh looking forward to let's see obviously showing how good that should look the leader team not the captain by any means but it's certainly a backbone to the team uh because it's going to be uh piecing everything together quite nicely um Slurpa, playing mind games with people, is going to be interesting because you never know if you're going to run it special, physical, or utility completely. Um, Plasimian, of course, gets that defiant boost, so that's going to come in handy. And uh, I just want Garchomp to shine. That's my main thing. I want to make it to where, you know what, I've never focused on getting my number one pick to be the captain, and this season yep. I plan on it. Yeah. Yep. MVP Garchomp, here we come. <laughs> Hopefully. My week one certainly is going to so, get in trouble. For sure. So, um, as people following at home well know, in the draft recap, we were talking about how good your team was mm -hmm. and how the division you're in is easily the most competitive division out of the two. Not because of necessarily the coaches in the other division being poor, but because of the we know from being in PML for a long time that the coaches that are in your division are very strong. Who do you think is going to be your your bogey match, your tough match, your biggest competition? My biggest competition uh, has to be David. Uh, he, he was able to draft an incredible core of Metagross and Fable High Dragon, and then uh, all the other pieces just kind of fit. He could just slap anything together and it's going to work. So. And it's David. <laughs> and it's David. He knows how to play Pokemon. Uh, another team I would say I am kind of scared of playing is uh, Sharpie's team. He's got the Sand yep. Core with the addition of Drake Azult. And uh, I, he, has an, he has a team, too, that he could just slap Mons together. And just works. Yeah. yeah, you can bring the Ice to the Hail team or the Sand team, and away he goes. Mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't be so much afraid of the Ice team. Hopefully yeah. he brings that one to prove me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, so you beat Sharpie, you beat David. You're in the division. You're in the um, the final, the Super Bowl. Uh huh. From from the other division, who do you think you're going to be facing? Make a prediction. Well, I do know uh, after the re- the draft recap, Matt was like, "All right, cool, sixteen, bring it on." So um, he might be uh, one to watch out for, but. The one I think is going to take it all the way to the championship is probably Christopher with his uh, Regenerator defensive core. And uh, he just has a lot of good weapons on offense, especially taking into consideration Cinderace with the Liberal. Cinderace, yeah. Yeah, I think him or James are probably going to you know, give you a good run for your money in the final. But that's not to say that anyone can't turn up on the day and defeat anyone else. So, as we've seen before, we've had upsets, we've had timer timer wins and you know people have been even on points at the end of the season and it comes down to differentials so you know it's going to be a good season i think you've got a good team built around you and uh still got a trade in the bank have you one more trade i have one more trade if i need it but i I don't see i honestly don't see uh making another trade but you know you know you never know you (laughs) never know that's right (laughs) So let, let us know when your week one matches and who you're facing. Um, all battles will be uh, released on Sunday at a uh, very time. So no one, no two battles are at the same time. So everyone's going to be able to watch those uh, in, in the order it comes out in and have a chance to watch them all differently. Um, and who's going to be 0-1 facing the Chartriots after week one? Uh, David's facing us week one. So we get the hardest battle, I'm thinking, out of the way first. Hopefully it's with a win. Hopefully it's with a win. And he doesn't know what you're going to bring. There's no prediction because there's been no matches. (laughs) So that's exciting. Definitely. It's probably the best. I would probably want to face him week one if I had to to face him with the week one. Oh, yeah. There's that shock and awe that comes out in week one. That's right. Yeah. And you can always bring some heat, bring some memes, see how you go. Oh, I'm definitely bringing the heat. (laughs) <laughs> all right joe well that was fantastic thanks for joining me today it was uh absolute pleasure to talk to you know one of the top coaches of the youtube draft league coming into season two here and i wish you all the best and i'm sure all the fans do as well thank you brother i appreciate it no problem at all peace